It is an awkward driving hole, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's very difficult. It doesn't say anything to you. Well, we like that from Marshall, a little uh, straight down the middle way to his fellow Marshalls down the end. That's in good shape. In the center of the fairway. Yeah, tough to get at that flag stick. Peter Casas, what's he got? Lob wedge. Okay, Mr. Ferdy, what do we got? A little sand wedge struck it nicely. Looking for the right bounce and a stop. Mm, beautiful shot. Right over top the flag, but we'll be left with a tough putt. Not a real hard hole location, a birdie chance. Not putting too good, Peter, and I'm, I'm having trouble. Frustration. That's the game of golf is 90% frustration. Got to drive the ball in the fairway to have a go at this hole. Dangerous driving hole. This is very good. That's right where you want to hit it. Wonderfully played. Wind seems to be freshening. How's that going to affect play? That's a sound wedge. Well, he didn't look too happy with it, David, but it's, uh, it's not a bad result. Not so bad. Not a long putt for a birdie. Looked a little wiggly there. Too much jiggle. Yeah, it's a little, little shaky over it. As I said before, three's a good score here. Tough par three. And that'll have to carry a long way. It's towards the right. And not the worst sand to be in. Plenty of green to work with. Really intimidating shot, regardless of how short it may be in there. Got the club up in the air quickly. You can hear by the thump. He used the bounce of the sand wedge. Yeah, everything he does is really the way you want to do it. He's a great guy to copy. For a par three. Confident stroke. The driver. Yeah. Get in the bunker. You, know, you heard he get in the bunker? Oh, Guess what? That's exactly where he found himself. Oh, Visually intimidating shot, Gary, and if you hit a bad one, you could end up in a real bad spot. Yes, you could.
Peter, pretty incredible stuff. Well, when he puts well, it looks invincible. I think he's a great talent. Oh, what a shot. That is a great shot. Ooh, you want to get those. We'll go to the change here and take a look at that. I wonder how important that miss is going to be come the end of the day. Fairway that's been so hard to hit all day, Peter. It has. And once you go in this stuff, if it's bad, you've got to be very careful, particularly if you go down the left-hand side. You've got good power. Good technique yeah. gives you good power, good distance, good control. Beautiful drive. Good layup right in the middle of the fairway. Good solid shot there. Watch out, this has got to be close. You can feel it coming. I can feel it. Line is good. Particularly good shot from that yardage. There's asking a lot to hold putts this length, although we've seen a lot of a very long putts going today. Good putt. You can only hit it where you're looking. Looks like he is going to get his par. All right, that's a four. It is a gorgeous hole, but can be very difficult to play depending on the wind. Always, always up on the stats for ball striking on the tour, driving the ball in the fairway, hitting the greens in regulation. He's always there, always. This whole location, probably the easiest on this green. Good crisp contact. Good line. Close. Oh, man, oh, man. This little putt here for a birdie. And that rattles in. And we've always got a lot of action here. There's bogus birdies, good shots at some eagles. Swing. Going for his tee. That means they like it. Yep, perfect. Well, he'll be very, very happy with that one. Wind seems to be freshening. How's that going to affect play? This iron shot he thought was right at it. He started walking when he hit it, and then all of a sudden he stopped. I don't know what happened there. Wind came up. Got the wrong club when the guy starts walking looking at it. Yeah, it's golf though. Drive you nuts. I like this lineup, but this one could go in. Can be firm with this putt. Yeah, nicely done. A good birdie at the last.
You take that. Yeah. And that's a wonderful, wonderful tee shot. Decisions to be made. No decision. Everybody's going for it. He's yelling for it to go. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, that uh, definitely in the hazard. Should be able to reach this without any problem at all. I would think one of his big concerns is if he lands this ball up in the middle part of the green, Nick's got a good chance to race through the green. This is uh, going to make a, a different sound, like he's taking a swipe at a roadkill possum. Really a good looking shot. It's going to be close. Just going to stay in that fringe there. That's a good shot. Might hold this. I see an awful lot of these go in these days. Monster par three. When the wind's whistling across here, it becomes a, almost a par five. He's been pretty good from this distance with his touch. Not sure he got 100% of it, but it got the job done. Let's see if he can knock this in from about five feet. This for a par three. Safe par. 